Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic Catastrophe. Um, let's see. I believe last time you left off... Yeah, I wanted to restart because things were being silly. Uh, and I've got an ID card now, which I think I can use to open the door at the end of this hallway. Got any dinosaurs in here? No. Oh, I can actually turn off these lasers now, that's convenient. I thought I'd have to go through the vents again. So yeah, I believe we use the key card to get in here to the strategy room. That's my strategy. Uh, DDK code disk E, and then we rewrite it and use it to access the elevator. What is that? Is that a Game Boy? It's an FC device. When an ID card is Created, this device is used to input the identification data. I guess I have to use that in conjunction with the thinger. And I got another plug. Hostile weapons positioning? I thought there were no weapons at this facility. Uh, let's read the operation thingy. Reinforcement of ID management. Earlier in the week, there was a case in which someone used the terminal that rewrites the ID cards to gain authorized access. This person acquired the fingerprint data from the corpse of a staff member who had died in the accident. He forged the dead man's ID by using the fingerprint data and entering the laboratory area by way of elevator. The problem is that the fingerprint collecting device can acquire usable fingerprint data even from a corpse. Since we'll be having an experiment today, there will be many outsiders visiting the facility. When creating the ID cards for guests, please keep a careful eye on the device. Well, I have the device now. I guess that's what that is. It's for scanning fingerprints. I'm sure there are plenty of corpses laying around that we can use. What does this computer do? It keeps track of soldiers who are positioned in the facility. That's what it does. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Hold on. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, as for this box, ammo and medical supplies. Apparently it only takes one plug, so yeah. More slag bullets, it's always nice. And I've got to do this kerjigger again. To actually combine them. Got an intensifier, hemostat, and resuscitation. I'm just going to empty this box out and put all that stuff in a different box. You need anything from this computer? Video simulation of worldwide weapon positioning plan. Oh. You... No, that's just that's just the blood that was always there. That's going to take me back to the main hall. Okay, good, good, good. Let's see here. We've got room. Oh yeah, I just kept the slag bullets. Okay, looks like I'm pretty stalked. We'll see how long that lasts. Just to be sure. ID card is acquired. Yeah, it's probably not the one. This guy, he's got a hand. And if anyone would have access to the research area, it'd probably be a researcher. Good. Now that's gonna take me... I've gotta figure out exactly where I am. Okay, yeah. So go through this door and then the door directly opposite, and that will take me to the card rewriting room. Hey, buddy. There's no need for us to fight. 
Oh, the one that was in here has left. That's very convenient for me. Maybe he went out into the hallway. Before I forget. Uh, also, what's this? A laser-driven shredder. Fancy. Should shred some dinosaurs with that, maybe. I don't know. Might work. This music is completely ridiculous. This reminds me of the director's cut music in the basement in Resident Evil. Where it's just like, it seems like just a random mash of uh, trumpets and other such instruments. Right, right, right. To rewrite the data, you need an ID card. Uh, registration number. I think that is our friend Paul Baker. His number was 58104. I hope this is uh, his his finger. Sweet. That's me. I am Paul Baker. We did it. I wonder if we'll have to rewrite that again. Right now I have researcher access. That's nice. For some reason, I'm... I'm, uh... Did I not read this before? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, this is Paul Baker's stuff. For some reason, I'm, like, supremely nervous right now that I've forgotten something essential that I'm supposed to be doing in this game, and that it's gonna get me killed. I mean, I suppose that's not an unreasonable thing to be worried about. We'll just keep ourselves safe here. Um, I still do need a key code sequence, or a number sequence for that, uh, the one office with, uh, where I got eaten by the T-Rex before. Okay. Let's see what Hall B1 has for us. No! Dino, now is not the time. Danger! Still got 10 9mm bullets. That might be enough for one dino. Haven't found any uh, 40 SW bullets yet, which is surprising. Like, does. I'm really wondering if I combine that with the handgun, do I get parts to reconvert it back to 9mm? Do 9mm bullets suddenly become 40 SW? What, what really happens there? because I don't want to make one of my guns unusable. Let's read the security manual volume that involved it. DDK, the electronic lock system, this facility has been updated. A more intricate code system has been introduced and the security level has been improved. You'll need to be aware of the following information when entering a password. In the case where the numbers are written instead of letters in the key field, the numbers could represent the codes for the corresponding characters. Here's an example of a correspondence chart between the characters and the code numbers. A equals one, okay, it's pretty basic. So it looks like we're going to possibly run into more complicated DDKs. Let's get this map data. Oh, okay. DDKL. Do I have both of those? It looks like it. 
Um, well then. So we got a, I got a number key. I'm guessing this is probably just a straight, you know, A equals 1, B equals 2, 3 equals C. Though... So C, D, E, F, G, H. That means we get L, A, O, R, A, wait, no, that's, I missed one. It helps that this is like a plain text password too, so that makes breaking it a whole lot easier. Tip for security here! Uh, don't use simple words as your password, maybe. Uh, okay, lab. I think it's something like lab rat. Oh, lab... <laughs> well, I mean, I was close. It's Lab Rat Ori, or Laboratory. Shouldn't it be Laboratory? Yeah, I misspelled that. Don't worry, we're almost there. I got stuck on Lab Rat. Good stuff. I also like that that was DDKL and it was an L word. Wish I could see. This isn't good. Okay. That's, that tells me things that I need to know, which is that I'm protected by lasers right now. For the moment. To you, buggers. Let's see, what does the rest of this hall look like? So I came in... Oh, wait a minute. I'll be back later, guys. You just keep running your faces into those lasers for now. It's not fair. Those dinos could be ladies. But it looks like... Oh, okay, this is shuttered. That's why I can't get in there. A little sad, because there's a save room that way. I think my strategy here is going to be... up all my handgun bullets. I didn't kill even one. The thing is, I don't really know if I'm hitting them properly when I shoot them like that. I want to get you two lined up. One dead? Doesn't... no, not even one. I probably missed. I just want one to be dead, because I can avoid or trank a single dinosaur, but two... That's pretty dangerous. Okay, it looks like I'm in the clear. Never mind. Nope. Nope. They're both still alive. The first one just got knocked down, so he should be dead in another shot or two. Dang it. Nope. 
Did I? Seems like I killed the one. Okay. here. They both lead to the same place. Okay. We're back in action. Sleepy Dino. I think we will deal with Sleepy Dino next time on uh, Let's Play Dino Crisis. And until then, make sure your shots count. <laughs>